everyone, myself Arish Mai. I am going to discuss the topic image data set graph. Contents of the presentation are: What is image data set graphing? Why we need image data set? Types of image data set graphing. Tools for image data set graphing. And a practical implementation of image data set graphing of traditional arts in India. And at last, we are discussing the legal and ethical consideration. So let me start. What is image data set scrapping? Image data set scrapping is the process of collecting and organizing large number of images from various sources, such as the internet, social media platforms, into a single data set. Next, we look upon why we need image data set. The machine learning and computer vision has made the need for the image data set. To train a machine learning model to recognize and classify images, the image data set is necessary. Image data sets are helpful in developing computer vision applications such as facial recognition, object detection, and image segmentation. It is used to test and evaluate the performance of machine learning models. Researchers can use these data sets to develop new algorithms and compare different approaches. Next, we are discussing the types of image data set scrapping. The first one is web scrapping. This involves extracting images from websites using software tools that can automatically navigate web pages, identify images, and downloading them. Examples are Scrappy, Beautiful Soup, Selenium. Spider, Webhavi, Octopus, Parser. The next type of image data set scrapping are search engine scrapping. This involves using search engines to find images based on a specific keywords and then automatically downloading them. This method can be useful for obtaining large number of images related to a specific topic. Examples are Google Images Download. Bing Image Downloader, Yahoo Image Scrapper, Image Scrap, and Image Writer. The next one is Social Media Scrapping. This involves collecting images from social media platforms such as Instagram or Flickr by searching for images using specific hashtags, usernames, or keywords. Examples are Insta Loader, Instagram Scrapper, Facebook Graph API. Twitter API, Tumblr API, Pinterest API. The last one is proprietary database scrapping. This method can be useful for obtaining specialized or high quality images for specific applications. Here we are discussing the tools for image data set scrapping. Beautiful Soup, a Python library that can parse HTML and XML documents and extract data from web pages. Scrapping. A Python framework for web scrapping that allows you to build web crawlers to scrap data from websites. Selenium, a tool for automating web browsers which can be used for scrapping websites that require user interactions such as filling out forms or clicking buttons. Image Downloader, an image downloading tool that can be used to download images from a given website or URL. Some popular examples include Bulk Image Downloader, Image Downloader, and Image Cyborg. Parser. It is a free and powerful web scrapping tool. With this advanced web scrapper, extracting data is as easy as clicking on the data you need. Octopus. A web scrapping software that can extract data from websites in bulk. It has a point and click interface and can extract both text and images. Web Harvey, a visual web scrapping tool that allows you to extract from web pages using a point and click interface. It can extract both text and images. WGIT, a command line tool that can be used to download files from websites, including images. Google Images API, an API provided by Google that allows developers to search and retrieve images from the Google Image database programmatically. 
reverse image search engine. Reverse image search engine like Google Images, TinEye, and Bing Image Search can be used to find images that match a given query or to find similar images. Fminer, a web scraping software that can extract data from the websites using a visual point and click interface. It can extract both text and images. PyAutoB, a Python library that can automate mouse and keyboard actions, which can be used to automate the process of downloading images from the website. Next, we do some implementation. Here I am building an image dataset for the title Traditional Arts in India. Here I am interested to scrap the dataset in three different ways. First method is using Selenium. We know that Selenium is an open source tool that automates web browsers. It is one of the web scrapping approaches. Here you can see the Python code for downloading images using Selenium. First, I imported the needed libraries. Then I set up the crawler. The crawler is used to crawl different URLs to download images. Then I supply the specific URL. My intention is to scrap the images based on the title traditional arts in India. So I supply to that specific URL. Then I collected the HTML element of the images to download. Then I collected the scraped data into a local directory. The next one is using Bing Image Downloader. It is one of the search engine scrapping methods. Here you can see the Python code for implementing the Bing Image Downloader. The one speciality of Bing Image Downloader is that Scrapping of images based on keywords. Here I given the keyword traditional arts in India in quotes. And I set the limit up to 200. And I created a folder called dataset to store the scrapped images. The command adult filter of is equal to true is used to block the adult content. Force replace command is used to prevent the overwriting of existing files and it is typically used to avoid accidental data loss. The next one is using Google Image Downloader. It is one of the search engine scrapping methods. Here you can see the code. First, I imported the needle libraries. Then I initiated a class. Then I create a list of arguments and passing the arguments to a function. At last, we are scrapping the images from the different URLs. You can access the scrapped image dataset of the title Traditional Arts in India through the following Kaggle link. You can also try it by yourself by going through all these codes. The last fact we have to consider while scrapping is the ethical and legal issues. Web scrapping can potentially violate the privacy and intellectual property rights of website owners and users. Scrapping data without permission can also raise concerns about data accuracy and bias. Additionally, web scrapping can potentially overload websites and cause performance issues which can be considered unethical behavior. From a legal perspective, web scrapping can potentially violate copyright laws, terms of service agreements and data protection regulations such as the general data protection regulation in the European Union. In some cases, web scrapping can be considered a criminal offense particularly if it involves hacking or other malicious activities. Thank you all for your time and attention. I am grateful for the opportunity to share my ideas with you. Once again, thank you.